Sophie Roskell. I'm a pianist and a professor of piano and piano pedagogy and the author of the book, The Complete Pianist. The Complete Pianist is an award-winning and critically acclaimed, very comprehensive book, which covers every aspect of piano playing. In particular, it focuses on how a healthy approach to technique achieves natural artistry and a lifetime of pleasure at the piano. I've now written a series of books which are based on the philosophy of the complete pianist, aimed at teaching students over the first two or three years of learning. These three books are intended to make technique fun. The books are called Hop, Skip and Jump, Making Waves and Leaping Ahead. The books can be used by themselves or they can be used alongside most method books or theory books or repertoire books. The books are very child focused. They teach serious technique but in a very light-hearted way. These books are intended to be used as part of structured lessons with a piano teacher. And there's plenty of supporting material at the back of the books, plus some videos showing how in detail to play each technique. Each chapter introduces a new element of technique. And I start by introducing a warm-up, which is usually away from the piano, using a very simple natural movement that we might use in our everyday activities. Then this is followed by a very simple exercise at the piano and then that leads in to a musical example, many of which are done as a duet, a newly composed piece. And the great advantage of duet is it means that students can really experience a rich musical experience even when they're at the very beginning stages and hardly know how to play more than two notes. The books contain charming illustrations by Ailey Muldoon. These aim to inspire the children's imagination and also to invoke precisely the right movement that's required to create the sound. I teach an approach to technique which uses the broadest sense of that word. So we're not just teaching scales and arpeggios and some boring finger exercises. We're including leaps and playing chords in different ways, different dynamics. Gisandi, all sorts of fun techniques. We're also teaching all the skills that a pupil needs to play musically. So how to create a beautiful sound, how to play singing phrases, how to articulate, have a full range of piano sounds. So that they learn not only to play with agility and speed, but also to play with real artistry. These books are founded on the principles of healthy piano playing. By this I mean freedom of movement. So we teach freedom of movement all around the keyboard so the arms stay very relaxed. We're minimizing any tension so that students do not build up tension over the coming years. So this leads to a lifetime of healthy and enjoyable piano playing. Piano playing is a very complex process. At the beginning, students are coping with reading notes on two staves, they're learning about rhythms, they've got two hands with ten fingers to cope with, and there's the musicianship as well. So it can be quite overwhelming for a beginning student. What I've done in these books is I'm leading them step by step through the process. Each chapter brings in one or two new ideas, so it's very carefully structured so that no students will become overwhelmed. I really want to inspire students. And I find that if we're just starting with one or two notes, say starting on middle C, it can be very disheartening. So we've used the whole keyboard, we've used a whole range of sounds to inspire them right from day one. So at the beginning, we use an off stave approach to the notation. If a student is just learning a piece which is perhaps using two or three notes, then we'll just draw those notes moving up and down. So it's very easy for them to read. They're not having to cope with the full stave. And then eventually we start to introduce the full stave. I've kept the note learning as simple as possible and the exercises short so that students can learn them very quickly. 
so they can focus on maintaining a good hand shape, on listening for the sound that they're producing, and also just being aware of the movement that they're making. Every student is different, and some find note learning very difficult at the beginning, especially if they're very young. So I've encouraged teachers to be quite flexible in their approach to these books. And they may prefer to teach some pieces by rote, which means that you may teach the first phrase just by playing it yourself, and then the student will copy it, and they'll learn it in that way. And then when they're ready, they'll start to learn the notes on the stave. We aim to teach every technique to both hands equally, right hand and left hand. All the techniques reflect recent research into best teaching practice. And the exercises are all based on the principles of healthy piano playing, which is shown in The Complete Pianist. The teacher may need to spend a little extra time teaching these fundamental techniques at the elementary stage, but it will all pay off eventually. The student will progress very, very quickly. They'll avoid a lot of the pitfalls that pianists often experience when they reach intermediate level and they will enjoy a lifetime of healthy piano playing.